Today we're going to take this billboard and learn how to put our own images onto it. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll be using this image of a billboard and this image of the beach. I've included a link in the video description to both of these images. The first thing we're going to do is come over to the billboard and we're going to select this white part of the billboard. So let's grab our quick selection brush and begin painting a selection over the white part. Just to make sure my selection is good, I'm going to come up to the top and press Refine. All right, I'd say that selection is looking great. So I'm going to press Apply and then I want to mask out this part of the billboard. So I'm going to apply a mask to this area I have selected by pressing on the mask icon, this kind of Japanese flag right here. And then I'm going to press Command or Control D to deselect. Right now, I've done the opposite of what I've wanted. I have everything else masked out but the billboard. So I'm going to click on the mask and then press Command or Control I, I to invert. And now we just have that white part masked out. Now it's time to bring over our beach image. So I'm going to come over to the beach and then press Command or Control C to copy and then come back to the billboard and press Command or Control V to paste it. Then I'm going to come grab the Move tool, this black arrow, and reposition the beach picture and make it a little bit bigger so it covers up the billboard. I'll zoom out a little bit just so I can see better. And then I'm going to take this image of the beach and drag it beneath the billboard. Because we already masked out that part of the billboard, it became transparent, allowing us to see the image beneath. We still need to make a couple more adjustments though, like rotating our image a little bit. Right now it's crooked because our picture was straight, but this billboard is on a slant. So I'm going to come up here to this circle and rotate my image until it has the same angle as the billboard. You can also see that this angle of the billboard is going out a little bit, whereas this angle is coming in. So we're going to use the Mesh Warp tool to fix this perspective. The Mesh Warp tool is second from the bottom, so you can just click on that. And then I'm going to drag this handle until it's the same angle as the billboard. I don't want to distort my image too much though, so I'm going to make this handle, this little circle, straight, along with this handle up here straight. Now you can see that this angle and this angle are approximately the same. And this one's already pretty good, so I'll just keep it there and then come up to the top and press apply. Our billboard is looking pretty good, but it almost looks too good. Like it needs to be a little more faded. And to give it a sort of faded look, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool and then click and drag a rectangle going across the image but I want this to be beneath my beach picture, so I'm going to drag it down to the bottom. And then with the beach picture selected, I can come up here and lower its opacity to give it a faded look. I'll put mine at 90%. And there you have it. We have just applied this beach image to the billboard. Now that you know this technique, you can apply any image that you want. Thanks for watching our billboard tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with a new video every Saturday. So hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.